Good morning everyone, welcome to the Tuesday morning set setups and outlook on the 27th of July. I uh, hope you all had a great weekend and a great Monday. Let's get to down to business and see what is the story today and what can we look at. So starting on EU, um, for some time, well the past 20 days, 10 days, so last, last week, we've been struggling to break this level by just indicating it with this and gray box you can see that we have been, we've been struggling to really break this level we've just wicked into it wicked into it so we can also just probably see it as classic support and resistance um, on the daily we can note that we are acting within this daily order block over there as you can see we have been playing around in that area and we've been failing to go any lower so once we're failing to make a lower low, failing to make lower moves, instead we're making more impulsive moves towards the upside. That is the indication for me that price is probably likely going to make a run up higher. And we can know that we have various areas up top that can act as areas for price to reach into, to grab liquidity or to grab more orders. So for me, I do think that price is potentially bullish and then we can see price reaching for these areas um, in the coming days, um, coming hours, maybe even. Let's drop to the one hour, the main time frame for this exercise. So we have our days are marked out and our days labeled. So looking at this one hour, <coughs> sorry, we can see that we left this order block over here imbalance, structure break, price pushing towards the upside. Now we're accumulating. So we have definitely some orders accumulating over here. So we have liquidity. So probably today I'm looking for something like this, a price pushing down and then moving up. Price grabbing orders, grabbing liquidity, and then see the move towards the upside. So that is my idea on EU. I'm looking at the 15 minutes Possibly we can use something in this range, maybe this range over here. But as, as I showed in the entries video yesterday on my Instagram, I'm looking for price to get into this area, show reaction, maybe make a stop hunt, and then a shift in structure, a pullback again, and then a continuation. We're looking for something like this um, to happen somewhere around in this area before taking long setup. We want that confirmation. And that will probably be on the one minute. So EU for me is setting up nicely and there's potential that this could be a good trade. Let's have a look at GU. Pretty much very much similar. Um, um, starting on the one hour as well. So we had this nice down candle which is also a range and as I've spoken before you know that ranges get gets mitigated. So if you have a range price breaks out of it comes back, mitigates it in the range, doesn't need to go deep into the range, it can just tap the edge of the range, but then a continuation. So over here we had a range, price broke out, came back, mitigated that range. Over here we had a small range, you can see price broke out, came back, mitigated it, and then moved on. There are countless examples of price mitigating and then continuing on. Here's another example. You can see we had a range over there, price pushed out, we came back, mitigated the range and continued down lower. Um, there's various examples that we can see price do this. Again, over here we had another example. We had this range, came pushed out and then eventually came back to mitigate that range. As I said, it doesn't need to be perfect, but price does come back to ranges to mitigate those areas. So, some extra information in there. So with that being said, let's just take some of this away. We are now looking for price to come back within that marked area over here. So I'm looking for price to potentially reach into this area. Again, we're building liquidity, which is very nice. More like a trend line liquidity in there, which is very good. So the same story maybe perhaps we can see a pullback maybe 50% off that range and then continuation up further 
in Tuesday moving up higher, creating a higher high, breaking the previous day's low. And this is also in line, I do believe, with premium and discounts. So perhaps somewhere around the 50% can be a good area for price to pull back into the pre-discounted area and then move on higher. So that's just the basic view for GU for me today. So Monday, I had a nice push towards the upside, looking for Tuesday to just carry on with that momentum and um, yeah, carry on. We can also see here again, small range breakout and then price comes back plays on it, mitigates it, and then we see the expansion towards the upside. The reason I do this is this is how I follow the order flow or the direction. If ranges are um, being mitigated continuously bullish, I'm looking for buys. If it's turning around and mitigating range is bearish, then I'm looking for sells. So just a good exercise and a way for me to um, discern which way I'm going liquidity always above a previous day higher low, so chances are that we can go and take that liquidity. So possibly if we get in at, on a lower time frame, maybe something like the five minute, for example, we get an entry there, and we maybe get a nice tight stop loss, four pips perhaps, because we're going to look for that change in structure. And then aiming for the previous day's high, can we can possibly get a nice 10 hour trade in this scenario. So this is what I'm currently looking at. We'll just keep it on the one hour. So this could be a nice one hour setup. Then similar situation on some of the other pairs. NU, same thing. So we have a sweep on the downside of the previous low and then a big expansion towards the upside, breaking structure. So then just basically looking for price to come back lower again into this region, looking for buys, and then continuation up higher. So this is the thing that we're looking at. We can see that the impulse was quite strong, and then the pullback is slower, and that is what we want to see. And then just the continuation up higher. So I'm setting an alert for in this area to see how price reacts, and then continue up. Higher. Uh, and as you can, now there was nothing there. DJ, possibly something similar. Here we have two zones. So the reason I'm looking at this one is because this area, this zone, this range has not yet been mitigated, whereas this range has been mitigated by this week. You can see over there, you can see price broke out and immediately came back and tapped into it and then pushed towards the upside. So um, possibly this is something that I'm looking at on GU, GJ, sorry. But again, this is the one hour time frame, so this could potentially not happen today, but tomorrow uh, we could see perhaps a push up and then move down today, and that could possibly be a trade. Um, Aussie dollar, something similar as to New Zealand dollar. We have a sweep to the downside took all this liquidity, breaking of structure towards the upside again, and then again we're building this liquidity on the upside. We have this liquidity low over there, um, so possibly some orders below this area. So looking for price to come back down into this area and then taking it along from there. Um, so that is me today. I'm not yet sure which one I would favor, which setup would be best. But you would often you would have to manage risk and risk appropriately. Uh, I think EU looks relatively good to me. I think EU is a fan favorite for me today. So I'll possibly have my sights set on EU more aggressively. And then New Zealand dollar also. I like New Zealand dollar as well. I think this could possibly be a nice setup as well. Um, GJ not as much. I feel it's a bit of a stretch. Um, Aussie dollar could potentially be one as well, but I think I'm favoring euro dollar. So those are the setups and the things that I'm looking at. I hope you guys enjoy it, find some value in it. Um, let me know in the comments, let me know in Discord if you have any questions. Um, yes, please do watch all the way to the end and let me know what you think. Are you looking at the same setups? 
or do you have a different view in mind? If you do, please explain. It would be great to um, get some positive criticism, criticism or feedback and why you look at it maybe differently. Anyway, that's it from me today. Hope you guys have a wonderful day. We'll see you in the chats and yeah, have a great one. Have a nice day. Bye.